live on a vintage Chicago fire boat and the exciting portion of that piece of information is you can take a tour on it and learn all about the history of this incredible uh, vessel that uh, once helped put out some major fires in the city of Chicago. And standing next to me are the two guys who just bought the boat. Uh, this is Ray and Eric, and they are also Navy veterans. And so you guys pulled it from where? How did you get the boat and where did you brought it down uh, through Lake Michigan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. from Sturgeon Bay. It was about uh, 31 hours down here. Oh, so gosh. We, we made one stop in Manitowoc and then uh, it was about 23 hours there. We tied up early in the morning at uh, 4.30 down in Dalton, Illinois. Okay, perfect. And then, and then, what did you do once you got it here? Then that's when like the real elbow grease came in. A lot right? of elbow grease, a lot of sanding, a lot of painting, a lot of prep work to make it to what we want to showcase her as yes. for Chicago. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour. I'm going to flip the camera around, and kind of show you guys the the neat history here. Um, this is a couple pictures of the of the ship in action. And this is putting out a fire. Do you recall uh, which one this was, you guys? That was 1939. 1939. Okay, and then here's and that one another is one. January 12th, 1951. Wow. And then when was this boat in operation? What were the years? From 1937 to 1982. Okay. It's a long 81. time. That's yeah. a very long time. Okay, so when you come aboard, then you kind of you enter through this area, and it's got a little bit of Chicago history. Um, and tell me what the boat is named after as well. It's named who it's named after, after. Uh, Fred A. Bussey, who was the mayor of Chicago in the early 1900s. Thank you for providing that information. Okay, so then you're going to come back this way, right? Mm -hmm. And you've got an old Chicago fire coat. It looks like. Yeah. And then. Obviously, places to use the restroom and a place to get a nice drink. Nice cold beverage. Yes, perfect. And then you would sit out here for the tour. And I'm going to go outside too so you guys can see the outside of the boat. The lake's a little choppy today. How long are the tours? Uh, roughly two hours for the uh, guided tours down from the, uh, Lake Michigan and the Chicago River. Perfect. And then, Eric, where do I go or where do people go if they want to buy tickets? Our website is fireboattours.com and you can view uh, the schedule on there and also purchase tickets to the website directly. This is, I was, I just interviewed uh, these two guys for a story that's going to be airing pretty soon on Fox 32 and I said to them how exciting it must be as Navy veterans to, to get to continue to work on the water but also to bring this boat back to Chicago, right? Back home? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely pretty neat to be able to showcase it back to the city and to tourists and locals and everything. And tell me what made this boat really, really special. Well, this the uh, she worked very hard for Chicago right? for years of being active, and then just being a Navy veteran and, and <laughs> you know, just seeing her for the first time and just being seeing her as a, such a unique opportunity to bring back to Chicago. I mean, it, it, it says it all right but there. it was the it was the largest fireboat in the oh, yeah. world at one yeah. point so, right yes she was the largest uh, she was the first diesel boat for Chicago fire department and when she was built she was the world's largest at over 10,000 gallons a minute. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm seeing uh, our, one, of our, one of our viewers says that the fireboat was in his city in June because he lives in Manitowoc. Yep. He says he has pictures of the boat, so that's really cool. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm so happy that I was able to bring you along on this little tour. Adam says the boat looks great. Uh, Mike says that he saw the boat in Sturgeon Bay. So you've got a lot of people who are familiar with the boat, so yeah, that's yeah, pretty we've cool. Got a lot of people contact us and say, you know, they rode it when it was up there, and so we've given them the information of where they can ride it. Yeah. Again. It is. Okay, and then below, we're not going to go downstairs because it's a little bit of a treacherous kind of step situation. Um, but down below are the fire pumps, um, or the water pumps, and that's where they would obviously crank the water from the river or the lake, right, to put out the fire. Yeah, so it used to have four pumps. Uh, there's still two of them on board, and then they used to use, uh, we had three main engines on here, or we didn't, but when it was a fire boat, it did. Uh, and then they would clutch out of two of those and plug those into the hoses so they could do four pumps at a, each about 2,500 gallons of humidity. So. I can't even comprehend that. I'm just going to let you say the numbers because I can't. Um. <laughs> a lot of water. As a comparison, we were 10,000 gallons a minute, and Christopher Wheatley, which is the newest, which is they pump at 14,000. Oh, wow. Okay. So, you know, and, and, and so over 80 
years difference between the two boats and there's only uh, 4,000 gallons difference. Difference, yes. Yeah. So let's go, D is up here, photographer D. Hi, photographer D. And this is the little steering area. I just wanted to show you that real quick. Okay, now let's go out this way because I want to show you guys the outside of the boat. Here we go. So here's the outside of the boat. And we believe that it's the only red Chicago tour boat, so it should be pretty easy to spot. Isn't this cool? Such a neat piece of history. There's the website where you guys can book tickets. And tickets are very reasonable. They're about $35 for adults, cheaper for kids. And then of course, if you're a first responder, a senior or a veteran, you get a discount as well. So it's a pretty, pretty good deal. And to put this in perspective, obviously there's the city, you guys, you can see that. We're in DuSable Harbor and the boat is parked right behind, um, what is this? This is the Columbia, the Columbia Yacht Club. So I know you guys probably have gone by that. You know exactly where this is. Really cool stuff. Did we leave anything out? I don't think so. Okay, I think we covered everything. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to put the the boat web address on this uh, video so you guys can see it. And next time you're in Chicago, you can book your tickets and get a really, really cool piece of Chicago history and a tour of the city on the water at the same time. I'll see you guys later. Bye.